Learn along with me. Hey guys, my name is Ritu Sachdev. Sliders can be an excellent way to improve the appearance of your website. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can generate attractive sliders for your website using jQuery plugin cycle. Before going into action, let me preview at a glance the sliders which we are going to have in our document. The first slider you can see is having zoom effect. The next image comes with a zoom effect. And in the second slider you can see we have a turn down effect. The next image comes with this turn down effect. Likewise in the third slider we have fad effect. And in the fourth we have curtain effect. So let's get started. Here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. The doc type I'm using is HTML5. I have already linked up CDN for latest compiled and minified version of jQuery, which you can easily get from jQuery.com or any other source which you prefer. Now let's link up the necessary jQuery file for this plugin. For that, let's visit the plugin website. Here we go plugin is called a cycle plugin which is easily available on jquery.malsub.com so this is the preview for this cycle plugin let's download the main plugin file so here we go when you scroll on the top you have this download the cycle plugin let's click on this download link you can see three links here the first is the main cycle plugin the second is cycle light fewer option but tiny file size and this is fake so let's go for the first link cycle plugin here we go now this is the cycle plugin which we want to link up in our document either i can use the cdn for this link or i can simply right click make it save as now obviously i will save up this file in my local folder so this is my local folder. Let's save it up here. jQuery.cycle.all Now let me show you up my local folder. This is my local folder. And this one is the file which we have saved. And these are the few images which we are going to use in creating the slider. And this one is the HTML document on which we are working. So again I am on my code editor. Let's have script tag. Here we go. Let's browse the file. Here we go. Let's close the script tag. Now in the body of document, let's have a div. Let's close this div. Let me give little indent here. Now, let's browse the images which we are going to use. So, img src. Let's browse the image. This is the first image. We can also go for the alt and title attribute. But right now, I am leaving blank. So, let's copy this and paste it again as my images are having name as 1, 2, 3, 4 so simply I will change the name of image as 2.jpg I will paste it for 2 more times and let's change the name of images this is 3.jpg and this is 4.jpg now let's again go to this plugin website so let's hit back here one more time here we go jquerymalsub.com slash cycle so you can see here we, we are provided 
some jquery script so we have to use that jquery script in our document suppose i want to have this zoom effect so simply i will copy this script and here in the bottom of this document before closing this body tag inside this script tag let's paste this script now notice guys you can see we have a id zoom here on which this script is applied so let's apply this id to our this div so to the div i will call id as zoom that's all we need to do now let's save this document and let's preview see here we go it's really easy isn't it now let's try some other effect say if i want to go for this fed effect so simply i will copy this script for the fed and now inside the script tag i need to have this single line of code pound sign which is targeting the id fed dot cycle so obviously we need to change this id from zoom to fed now as we can easily notice this time fed id is targeted so let's save it up and let's refresh this web page here we go we have this fed effect in our slider likewise we can also go for this curtain x let's copy this paste it instead of this fed just i'm replacing the code now the up id is targeted so let's change the name of id up let's save it up and let's reload our document here you go see we have a curtain effect let's go for this turn down copy this much paste it here in the script tag change the name of id to slide let's reload here we go very very cool isn't it now this shuffle works well with the cycle 2 plugin you can see here i have link for the cycle 2 check out cycle 2 the latest in our cycle line of slide shows so when i click on it you can see we have this window for cycle 2 in the demo section you will see here we have transitions shuffle and i really love to discuss with you this transition tile in my next video the awesome effects it has Here we go. See when I click on this next, we have awesome effects. Having this previous or next as a link is totally in your hands. We can also run our slider without this links. So in my next video, I will be discussing this cycle too. So this is not yet done, friends. 
Stay tuned for the part 2 of this video in which I will be showing you Cycle 2 plugin and hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video of mine, do thumb it up, do not forget to subscribe me and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.